reality show with uh, magic and Karabet will take center stage at the auto and general theater on the square in Sentin from the 22nd to the 27th of February 2016. The show will feature two award-winning entertainers, Irit Noble and Olwe Tujanji. The two entertainers join us from SABC Studios in Cape Town. Good morning, guys, and welcome to AM News. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, it sounds like it's a good morning in Cape Town. <laughs> Please tell us it why should beautiful. the people be looking forward to this play? They should be looking forward to it because it's bringing back something iconic like the age of glamour, the fact that we've got magic and music and just sophistication, you know, something beautiful. It's, there's a lot of tongue-in-cheekness and a lot of campness and it's a little bit silly here and there, but ultimately the show is really all about just letting people come in and just forgetting about all the troubles. Forget, forget the hashtags, forget everything, leave that outside, come in and Oweto will show you his fantastic magic and blow you away and um, <laughs> I'll make you laugh and uh, tap your feet. No, it sounds definitely like uh, something not to be missed. All right, we know of the Madiva magic and you guys are talking of Madiva magic. Talk to us about it. Madiva Magic, it's a show that is, as Irit just said, my friend, it's a mix of music, um, lights, color, and of course a little bit of magic. But before we do anything, um, I want to show you some magic. Yeah, yeah, Can I show it. you some magic? Sure, sure, do that. Okay, cool, awesome. I've got the pack of cards over here. Can you see that? Yeah, that's three. Check that card. Three of clubs, check that. <sighs> Gone. One, two, three, boom. That is the magic right wow, there. Wow, wow. <laughs> so, that, that's if you want to see, <laughs> so if you want to see more of this, you must come to Jobrick. Don't miss the show. It's it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a, a night of elegance. It's gonna be it's gonna be a night of wonder. You should see the show. It's gonna be amazing. It sounds fun. I love the energy. All right, you at the age of twenty three, um, you you have you've been described as the rising star. You are said to have achieved so much. What really motivates you? What really keeps you going? It's actually, it's, it, it is my family and the encouragement that I get from where I come from. I'm basically, I'm from the school called the College of Magic. That's where I learned all this art of magic. And I've been doing magic now for more than 10 years. And all I must say, and it's, it's been good to me. And the career has taken me into places. And uh, yeah, and I will be doing this show now in Jobbik. So it's, got, it's another experience and another, another platform for my career as well. Speaking about um, your career taking you to places, I'm looking here you've been to las vegas italy the uk and china what stood out for you thus far um it, it it's china i i like i like china and I've, I've i've went there twice now and and i think um i'll be going there quite often and uh and it's been good because i'm meeting new friends and the magic it's it's, it's quite popular in asia so yeah china has been the best for me Erit, um, you have recently been recognized for impressive work in the South African entertainment industry by winning the Umbokoto um, Award for Comedy. What does that mean for you? What it means for me is nothing more than the fact that when I open my mouth to make people laugh, they laugh. And other people have recognized it. Oweto is also an award-winning entertainer. So between the two of us, even though um, I'm just a little bit older than Olwetu, but luckily his magic is so fantastic that on stage he actually you that makes young. me look 29. <laughs> so that's really, yeah, I know. He's made some years disappear for me. Um, but, uh, you know, the um, Mbukondo Award is actually granted by the city of Johannesburg and, and arts and culture. And so it is very important, obviously, that it's not just about me standing there. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if I can say this on the news, but, you know, I like to say, I don't know, um, but that actually that it strikes a chord and that people uh, see something in my comedy and in my music. Um, so for those of you in Johannesburg, we hope to see you when we do our magic and music and comedy all together um, at Santon Theatre on the Square. We're there from the 22nd to the 27th 
of February. So for those of you who are not getting romanced tomorrow, don't <laughs> worry. You come to us and we'll give you the excitement, the romance, everything. But I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure partners could actually even also go out there to enjoy as their Valentine's outing, isn't it? No, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So for those of you who didn't get it together to organize something for tomorrow, if you're in <laughs> Johannesburg or if you're not in Johannesburg, fly to Johannesburg. Oh, Weta, can you make people fly? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can make people fly. Oh, All right, yeah. So so we have like uh, we have a special deal. Uh, Olweto will fly you up to Johannesburg. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, you must check out our website. It's Madiva Madiva Magic dot com dot co dot za. Sorry, I'm such an international web. Oh. Madiva Magic dot co dot za. So you can check all the details of the show. And I think the most exciting thing for me is working with someone and, and doing a two-hander and really getting to know somebody's chemistry and energy and to bring that to life on stage. It's very exciting and I know it's going to be exciting for the audience as the well. The chemistry and energy that you're talking about, we can see, I mean, vividly mm. so, it's, it's, it's there. But uh, tell yeah. me, how did, how did the, 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 the collab came about? How did you guys end up working together on this one? Well, we have a producer um, who's got a slight screw that's just a little bit loose. Um, and one day he came up with this idea. He Literally, he was just sitting there. We were having a conversation and he went, ah, oh, magic, magic music, magic music, cabaret, mm, my diva, my diva magic. And I thought, I said, oh, that sounds like a fantastic idea. And two weeks later, he had the entire proposal. He had the cast, he had the director, he had everything organized. And so we kind of did come together just by magic, you know, by imagination. Sometimes people just have to let their imaginations run riot mm. and then rein them in, see what can be done in reality. Um, and I think this time, I think we've really, we've, we've struck a, a beautiful little spark. So we can blame it all on our producer, Jean-Pierre Marie Klein. The two of you um, are making a living by making people laugh. Um, all right, where did it start for you? I started doing magic when I was young. I was, I was 12 years old. Um, I'm from Kailicha. Um, the school of the College of Magic came in my community in 2005 to do a magic show. And I went to see that show and uh, I was so fascinated how magic was done. And I went to, to tell my parents that I want to become a magician. And, and guess what? <laughs> the answer was no. <laughs> Um, they thought it was a joke. But, uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, so I, I tried to convince my mom, and uh, she was convinced. Uh, so I, likely uh, I had a friend that was actually um, staying in my community who was, uh, who was in the school. So that's where I got the information, and that's where all this journey started in 2006. Yeah. Tell me how difficult was it for your parents to actually take you seriously, telling them that you actually want to be a magician? It was very, very difficult, especially for my dad. I remember when I would, I would learn a trick at, at, at the College of Magic and then I'll come home, home and then I'll be very excited to say, hey mom, I've, I've learned this new trick. Um, I would show my mom, um, she would be very supportive, um, even if I'm <laughs> doing it badly. Um, she would be saying, my boy, you're doing a great job. And my dad was sort of like, oh, okay, um, I'm, I will wait and see this magic thing. But uh, yeah, but now he is very supportive mm. and I have grown up and yeah, they're all supportive of my career. Would you say this is something that you always wanted to do or was there something else that you wanted to, to probably, you know, further and study or maybe pursue um, later on in life before you, you came across uh, magic? Basically, um, if I may tell you, I was a pantsula dancer uh -huh. before. I, was, I used to dance and, and the magic came and sort of like took that all away. Um, but now magic is here and is opening a lot of doors for me and uh, I'm looking forward to the, the, the show in Johannesburg which is something new for me to be working with Miss Irit Nobel. Um, I'm really looking forward to it and uh, yeah I've, I've started as a pantsula dancer and now I'm a full-time entertainer magician. Mm. Irit let's now have a chat with you. Where did it start for you? Mm -hmm. 
where did it start? Mm. Oh, back in the dawn of time, darling. <laughs> no, um, I think, you know, uh, and, and I'm sure Weta will relate to this, there's something about being an entertainer or being a performer or being a creative in the arts. It's almost like... For me, there was nothing else that I really could do. Mm. You know, there was nothing else that, that inspired me. There's nothing that gets me up at five o'clock in the morning except knowing that I have lyrics to write or something to learn. Or, you know, I, I mean, Oweto started as a dancer, but I've, I'm like the opposite. I'm a performer who looks like a dancer, who has, I, I find it so difficult to learn steps. So that's one of the things that, that actually I entertain myself with is standing in front of the mirror, trying to learn the dance steps. But <laughs> to answer your question, basically I am a performer, an entertainer, a comedian, um, and a singer, because quite simply that's what I've always been. Since actually um, I came to this country, I was born in Israel. So even though Weto and I come from different backgrounds, we actually both come from um, environments of, of difficulty, you know, of war, of, of race wars and, and stuff that isn't fun and isn't exciting and isn't magical. And we've both brought ourselves out of that, you know. Mm. So I think also maybe that a lot of us entertainers um, or creatives, artists, sculptors, uh, a lot of it comes out of trying to turn situations around, trying to magically alchemize a situation, you know. So you take something that's, that's dark and sore and uh, you find the lightness in it and you hold it up to people and you say, okay, well, how about we look at it like this, you know. And even if you have to be completely ridiculous and over the top, to make your point, um, that's where a lot of comedy comes from, is taking stuff that isn't funny at all mm, and not. lightening it up for people to experience. Guys, Iriti and Oloitu, it's been nice. Uh, we see you guys up here in Joburg. Thank you. Yes. We'll be in Joburg from the 22nd to the 27th at the Santon Theatre on the Square presenting Madiva Magic, and you can find tickets on strictlytickets.com. There you have it. Thanks a lot. That was uh, Irit Noble and Olwe Tujanchi, South African uh, comedians uh, that are coming uh, to Johannesburg. Uh, stay with us. We'll be back uh, shortly after this break.